there, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software Support. Welcome to this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. This video will go over changing bars on your toolbox and using those bars on your schedule. If you'd like to follow along with this schedule, this is the top level schedule example, located in the File tab, the drop down next to the Open button, then you choose Sample Chart and then choose Aerospace and Defense, and you should find this schedule inside that sample folder. To get started with modifying bars on our toolbox, let's look at the toolbox. You'll see that each row in the toolbox is divided into four parts. The first part is a small plus symbol, which you can use to add the entire symbol-bar-symbol symbol combination to your schedule area. Then the next section is the starting symbol. In this case, it's an invisible symbol. Then we have a bar, and then another invisible symbol for the finish symbol. To get started, let's double click on the bar portion of a row in the toolbox. I'm going to double click on this blue bar right here. Once I double click on the bar, I get a new dialog box, Bar Options. Here you can choose the bar type, which is the main way to control the thickness of a bar. You can see there are several different bar types available. Most bars will show a before status, a complete, and after status, incomplete color. This will mean that if the task is 50% complete, the left side of the bar will use the before status color, and the right side of the bar will use the after status color, similar to the sample bar in the top left. Starting in version 2015, we added some bars that show a percent complete in a different way. An example of this type of bar is number 67. You can see that with this type of bar, there is a main bar color and a progress portion, so keep these options in mind when choosing a bar type. You also get several other formatting options, including a different fill pattern, line pattern, and even gradients found under the Special Effects drop-down. At the bottom of the dialog box, you can also add a shadow if you'd like. My bar type is set at type 67, and I'm changing my main bar color to green and I'm keeping all other settings the same. Then I will press OK and you will see the updated bar in the toolbox. Keep in mind, if you change the bar that is currently being used on your schedule, then the bars on your schedule will be updated to that new bar as well. If I want to add this bar to the schedule, I can click on the small plus symbol next to the row in the toolbox. And then on the schedule area, I can click and drag on the row that I would like to add the bar to. Keep in mind that every bar will have symbols on the end, even if the symbols are invisible. So you can see right here, I'm clicking on the ends of this bar, and they are invisible symbols on either side. To switch out bars on your schedule with an existing bar on your toolbox, click on the start symbol of the bar you'd like to change, and then click the new bar in the toolbox. So if I click on the start of this green bar, and then click on this yellow bar in the toolbox, it's going to switch out that bar for what I just clicked on. Again, click on that start symbol, and click on whatever bar you want to switch it to. So if I want to switch this one to the new one I'm using, I'll click on that in the toolbox. Thanks for watching this tutorial about modifying bars on your toolbox in Milestones Professional. For more videos, visit our website at kidasa.com. Have a nice day.